Hello and welcome to an Automation Professionals tutorial. My name's Dave and I'm the lead programmer. Today we're going to talk about lighting control using the Crestron touch panel or tablet such as an iPad or Android tablet. First we'll go through the general layout. The icon on the bottom left is your home button that brings up the general navigation menu where you're going to find the light section. An item to note in this area is in the house tab at the top where you can turn off all inside lights and set a global scene in every room around the house. Next on the bottom right you will see the power and volume control for the room you have currently selected in the audio video section. You can tell which room you are controlling because the room is displayed in the power button. With the Crestron touch panel the power and volume up and down won't be there because it's on the front of the touch panel in the form of capacitive touch buttons. There is also a light button that takes you to the lighting page if you are not already there. On the top left of the main screen you will find the room lighting control as well as the room name that you are currently controlling. This includes a slider that shows the average light level, room lighting on and off buttons, and you can adjust the room dim level by either pressing dim up and down or adjusting the slider accordingly. On the bottom there is a list of all the lights in the room which display differently depending on the type of light. For normal dimmable lights you will see the same type of slider as before that will control the individual light and give you its current level, raise and lower buttons which will also adjust the dim level, and a general on and off toggle. For switch loads you will just see an on and off toggle which will also be the same as a fan. And then the color LED which will have an on and off toggle button plus a color display that will show its current color selected. When you click the color display it will bring up a color control on the right where you will have the general light level of the LEDs on the left and you can drag across the palette to find your desired color. On the top right you will see the scene control. There are six in total. Four underneath that you can save and recall different lighting scenes in the room and two on top which function the same but are also used to change how the lights turn on when controlled with by a keypad which we'll get into later. To recall a scene, you simply click the scene you want to recall. To save the scene, set all the lights in the room to the desired levels, and then hold the scene button you want to save. After a few seconds, a box will pop up to save or delete the scene. Hit save and it will now be recalled exactly how you set it. One thing to note, fans won't be included in the room scene as they are controlled with a different setting which we'll get into in a bit. On the bottom, you'll once again see the name of the room that we are currently controlling as well as the state of the lights. Clicking this button will bring up the room select and settings page. On the left, you will see a list with all the available lighting rooms around your house. This will also display the current state of the lights as well as the icon that represents the current light level in the room. Clicking this button will toggle the lights in that room so you don't have to switch to each room to adjust. Under the list you can turn off all the lights in the house or select a certain area around the house to filter the list, which is helpful when you li the list is very large. On the right of the list you will see the general room control and scene recall so you can quickly select a room and adjust the lights without having to go back to the main control page. On the top right you will see navigational buttons which include settings, global settings and scheduler. First we'll take a look at the room settings. Here you will see any settings that apply to the lights in the room. I mentioned before that the night and main scenes are used when turning on the room from a keypad. The always main scene option makes it when you turn the lights on from a room from a keypad it goes directly to the main scene that you saved. The nights after sunset option allows the room to automatically turn on to the night scene when it's after sunset so you can have the lights turn on to the main scene during the day and night scene during the night automatically. Next is the auto off timer which is a great option for rooms like closets or laundry rooms that will allow you to set timers so if you leave the lights on it will automatically shut off after a preset time. This can be anywhere from 5 minutes to 60 minutes. The switch light behavior option changes the behavior of non dimmable loads when raising or lowering the dim level in the room. Off at 0% means that dimming up and down will not affect the switch lights until the room level dims down to 0% which then they will turn off. On at 100 and off at 0% is the same thing as above but when you raise the lights and they hit 100% in the room then the non-dim lights will turn on. 
On on raise and off on lower means that any non-dimming lights will turn on instantly when dimming up and off instantly when dimming down, which is the default behavior. The fan behavior can be used for all fans in the room. This is a popular feature for bathrooms. Manually controlled means that the fans will never turn on or off with the room. You will have to turn them on and off manually via button or touch panel. On with the room means the fan will turn on with the room but not off. And if you have to, and you have to manually turn off the fan. Off with the room means the fan is only turned on manually, but will turn off with the room. On and off with the room means exactly that. Delayed off is an option you would select if you want to turn on the fan manually, but have the to turn off with the room, but after five minutes. This is a great feature for clearing out moisture after a hot shower. On with the room and delayed off is exactly like above, but with the fan also turning on with the room. If an occupancy sensor is present, you will see an option to enable or disable it. Next in the global settings page, you will see a lot of the settings I described in the room settings page, but in here it will set the option globally for every room around the house. The keypad settings will allow you to adjust the backlight level of your keypads assuming they support this feature. Retrofit in-wall dimmers do not support backlit dimming. The normal feedback option makes it so the keypad will have the LEDs indicate when the associated lighter function is on. The inverted feedback does the exact opposite as some people like to have the LEDs on when the associated lighter function is off so you can find it at the keypad in the dark. The vacation mode allows you to record your lighting usage for a week long period so you can recall it when you go on vacation to mimic the lighting when you're not home. This is done by selecting the playback button. Stop simply stops the recording and keeps the lighting recording. The slider to the right will adjust the light level in which the lights turn on when playing back the vacation recording so you don't have to use as much energy. Underneath there are light on and off fade times. You can set this time manually in 0.5 second increments or hit the preset button on the right. Default is 3 seconds turn on and 2 seconds turn off. This is essentially the time it takes for the light to turn on and off. One second would make the, them turn on and off very quickly. Three plus seconds would slow things down for a nice effect. The scheduler is where you can adjust the time for your exterior lights to turn on and off. The times can be either a direct time such as 9pm or astronomical. The default setting turns the lights on at sunset and off at 2am, but you can adjust this timing using the buttons below. To set a time, simply hit AM or PM and adjust the hour or minute until you reach your desired time. To set the schedule to astrological time, hit sunset or sunrise and if you adjust the hour or minute, it will set the time based off of sunset or sunrise. On the right you can enable or disable all schedules or the selected schedule. To the right and left of the displays is where you can cycle through the available schedules to adjust. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and feel free to check out my other tutorials that will be popping up over time as well as some other cool videos I'll be posting in the near future. If you are interested in licensing out my program and modules, contact me with the email address on the screen for information.